You've seen us process a lot of bison, but you've never seen us remove the hide. We've had a lot of requests for it today. In front of us, we have about a 24 month old bison bull and we're gonna remove the hide and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna be using a variety of the six inch Victorinox knives. Some of these have been worn down more than others. Um, I don't use a, like a skinning style knife on a bison or beef for that matter. It's just easier to use these Victorinox uh, semi-stiff curved blades when you're, when you're skinning bison. The hair, the hide's thicker, the hair's thicker. Overall, they're just more difficult to skin. So it's just easier using a Victorinox six inch. This, is a, this hide back here on this rump, it's close to a half of an inch thick. So we're just gonna start with making our lines where we're gonna open this up and start the skinning process. Dealing with the hair is usually the biggest issue. And I'll show you some tips and tricks for keeping the park as clean as we go. Yeah, these are just a tough animal, no matter how you cut it. So I do have a sterilizer behind me, so I'm gonna be periodically, you'll see me rinse my knife getting all the hair and contamination off of it, wash my apron, and then dipping my knife in the sterilizer. So the first thing I do is just get all opened up, ready to go. Using my F dick honing rod just to tune up this knife. So I'm going to be using the shortest blade, this one's been worn down the most, to do all my leg skinning. And as I skin, you'll notice I use my thumb to pull that hair back so it doesn't flop over onto that exposed leg. We'll just work our way up one side and then we'll go down the other keeping that hair pulled back so that contamination doesn't roll over onto that exposed meat. So once we get the hide opened up, we're gonna make a spot to hang it with our hook. There's a joint right here. Make a score, pop that joint, and we'll just take that rear leg right off onto the second leg. Same process. Pulling that hide and hair back as we go. Just break the knuckle. Moving the leg. Let's just start siding. So the key throughout this whole skinning process is making sure that you keep this hide pulled back. And if it happens to fall over a little bit onto the animal, you trim it as you go. If any contamination gets on the carcass, it needs to be trimmed, it can't be washed off. Once you find that rose meat, you want to separate the that membrane between the hide and that rose meat. The most difficult part of dealing with skin and a bison is just this hair. It can be a real challenge keeping the animal clean as you go. Best advice I have for you is to just keep those long hairs 
roll back, get up here to the brisket. Now we're just gonna focus on siding this big guy. And compared to beef cattle, these are extremely dry and they can be tough. Once you get this sided down about as far as you can reach, we'll just move back here to the rump. Keep removing that hide off that rump. Feel the old Victorinox needs a little tuning. So one of the more challenging parts on skinning this bison is removing the hide from around this front leg. It can just be such a chore with all this hair, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I make my first cut, tuck that hide around the side. And always reach back and hit my knife in the sterilizer. And then what I do is I just come up through that hide like that. Trim that contamination off as you go. Continue dropping it down off this front shoulder all the way down. You can probably hear my knife making these swipes because it's so tough and that hide right there around this neck is probably about a half of an inch or more thick. So there's side one, let's do side two. Same process, different side. Starting right here on the inside of this rump. Anywhere there's contamination like this, you can just trim it off and take it with the hide. Don't leave it on the carcass, leave it on the hide. And if we missed any spots, we'll go back through like that little spot right there and we'll just trim it off and discard it. So once we get that all opened up, we can just start our siding process like the previous side. The same principle goes to pretty much whatever species you're skinning, whether it's bison or elk or beef or whichever. You want to keep that rose meat on the animal, not on the hide.
And for anybody that says, man, I could side that in five or six swipes, probably on a beef cattle, but not on a bison, because that gets the old forearm pump going on bison. They're just extremely dry and tough, so you can't make those big swipes like you can on beef cattle. Just, they're a lot more difficult skin. So once you get this side done, you move to the back, to this rump, then you finish bringing that hide off that rump. And we'll get the rest of it when we put it up on the gamble. Moving to the front quarter. Let's do this leg like we did the other side. Let's make our cut. Let's go ahead and tuck that hide over. Skinning up this leg. Once you get it to about there, then go from this direction all the way up to that hock. This is where this is where dealing with that hair can be extremely challenging. Just a little bit of trimming to do up around that hock. Just a, and some of these, we'll even take a saw and just cut that end of that hock off. You can't trim all the contamination off. You can just cut the end of the hock off. You can just keep skinning that hide down on that shoulder all the way down to the neck. You can see Sean, he's going to come through, he's got a meat hook, and he'll just take that little bit of contamination off. So now, anything he finds is going to be trimmed off. But overall, that animal is pretty clean, in my opinion. We're going to split this sternum right here, briskets on both sides. We're going to split this with our well saw before we pull it back and finish the skin. It's a very important step for dropping the entrails out of this animal. So once you go to eviscerate it, if you don't split that sternum, you're going to be struggling. We put the hooks in these front legs just to keep them from touching the floor when we lift it up. I'm hungry, dude. I will be right back. I'm hungrier. It's mid-morning and I am starved, so... We have our beef sticks. They're clean. They're 3.5 ounces in a pack, and they are incredibly tasty. They got a nice snap to the casing. They've got a great flavor, just the right tang. And man, they hit the spot every time I'm feeling hungry. Mm, wow. I can eat this whole pack. I will eat this whole pack. I'll make sure I save some for Seth. Gonna start back here around this bung, skinning out this tail, and then we'll go down both sides of the rump. So I'm gonna start with 
removing the hide down this side of the round and then I'll jump to the other side. This, you have to be real careful here because this hide gets like almost sticky and it's really easy to slash into the back of the loins on these. You certainly don't want to put big gouges in it. So just take the time, take, take your time using just the tip of your knife and just work your way down this back, doing your best to not put any big slashes or gouges into these short loins on this animal. We're moving around the sirloin here, get down to the strip loin and just work your way down along this side. And I'll skin to where I feel like I'm about halfway around this back and then I'll move to the other side where the two meet right on the vertebrae and then we can finish it and we'll drop the tail down and then we'll finish skinning off the front shoulder. So once you get it to about that point right there, go ahead and move to the other side. And this side can even be a little bit more challenging if you're right-handed, which I am, because you're working backwards. But just take your time, slow, smooth, smooth as fast, and just slowly work your way up the back of this bison bull. So now what we want to do is we want to keep skinning this until we pop through where we stopped on the other side. So you can see daylight right there. We met the other side. Just bring this down a little bit. We'll finish skinning some of this portion down here when it's hanging in the air, it's just easier that way. So now, move up here to the tail. Get that hide removed around the tail. We're gonna lift it in the air and we're gonna finish getting the hide off. Now we start by pulling the hide down off the tail, just like that. We're gonna find the little notch, remove it, and then we're just gonna work our way down, removing the rest of this hide off the entire bison. Let gravity do its work with the hide. You can some of this you can even do it sort of one-handed. So we'll just continue to drop this hide down. It's extremely dry. So let's go all the way down the back, move to this side, go down this side. back, making those swipes around. Lift it up a little bit. Just keep coming around. You can take your hand, put your hand up underneath this hide and get a better grip that way to make these longer cuts. And then just keep going down towards the neck. 
all the way up the back. And then you can just finish skinning down this vertebrae. down here and just take that hide straight off when you're ready. You, got a few more reps in? You, you need to get in on some of the action. I do muscle up when there's a cable here. Siding some bison and you won't need to get those forearms pumped doing uh, chin-ups. Anyways, here you have the entire Bison, like we mentioned, about 24 month old bison bull. You can see the hide has been completely removed from the back end to the front end, all the way around. No contamination. You saw the animal was pretty dirty. It's January here in Ohio. Um, feedlot gets a little muddy. These things get tramped around out there in the fields. There's really no way to avoid Especially with that long hair they're going to get clumps of manure and stuff on it so educate yourself on how to work your way up through that hide keeping that hair folded back so it doesn't flip over on the carcass keeping it clean keeping the, can the contamination to a zero once it's like this and you'll be happy camper your customer is going to be happy and healthy there you have an entire bison bull and how to remove the hide so until next time, right here on the Beard Butcher's YouTube channel, see ya.